Dobry dzień, je prvi april. Today I am at a uh, train track or a dead train track that's nearby where I live and um, uh, I thought this might be an okay area to, to do a video because um, I can't really find too many good spots around where I live uh, to do videos because I prefer to do them outside and um, uh, there's a lot of like city noise like cars and stuff like that nearby but um i just wanted to say hello to everyone i hope you're having a good start to the month of april and i hope you had a good march um i know that uh, march was uh, pretty dry on the channel for uploads i kind of only posted one um of like the city travel videos and that is because um i was busy working for a lot of the month i was um uh also busy like spending time uh, with atka and my mom here and there uh, but mostly like busy uh, working and um, meeting with some students uh, for English le lessons. So I'm still here. Uh, just wanted to check in with you and kind of um, give you a bit of an update of uh, myself and uh, me being here in Slovakia. Now, um, one thing that I wanted to talk about real briefly is uh, so while I don't think that the topic of the weather is very int I don't think it's too interesting. Um, I did want to mention that uh, for this month of March, or well, for last month of March, it has been uh, kind of odd because um, in it was like Tuesday or Wednesday in uh, the last week of March. Um, in the morning, it was like very sunny. It was looking like the whole day was going to be nice and sunny, and then maybe around like 10 a.m. or something like that. Uh, it started to get cloudy pretty quickly and then it started raining like it's even starting to rain right now like It was some water droplets on the lens. So yeah, it was uh, Sunny at the start then it got quick uh, cloudy very quickly. It started to rain and then maybe for like 30 to 60 minutes it was snowing what the shit? And then it stopped snowing and got sunny again like a little while later. So it's just very strange um, weather it kind of r reminds me of uh, how the weather can kind of be odd like that in uh, Hawaii um, I'm sure there's only a few people uh, who watch the channel that have been to Hawaii but I have been there um, twice one of the times was with my dad when we went there it would be sunny most of the time and then randomly for like could be as like little as like 10 minutes and as long as like 30 minutes it would start raining but it would be a warm rain because the air was already you know warm and humid and then it would just rain out of nowhere and um you know it's just kind of interesting odd weather so i feel like uh Slovakia, at least bratislava is kind of going through its own like weird weather phase right now so another thing that i wanted to bring up is uh, i have some video ideas that i'm wanting to make and kind of in the background I'm making but um, I'm realizing um, how much uh, foresight one needs to uh, put into making some of these videos so that's why maybe like lately on the channel it seemed kind of dry I just want to like let you guys know that uh, you know the channel is still you know around still a thing I, I, I know for the past couple weeks I didn't post anything but um, I was also thinking about maybe doing uh, a live stream at some point um definitely let me know uh in the comments below if that would interest you because i think it could be good for people who are uh like if you know you're going to be coming here or if you're just curious um about Slovakia, like if you have any questions that would be a great time to ask uh questions because um well i i, I can't guarantee that i would answer like every single question because i don't know what you'll ask but uh, i can to the best of my abilities and i can give you my experience a hundred percent um and another th thing that i wanted to mention regarding learning the slovak language here is i feel like uh you really kind of have to not always go out of your way to find uh, space to practice it but like say if you're planning on coming to slovakia and you're maybe practicing or learning the language a bit in advance or maybe you already uh, know a little bit um, when you sp meet with people who, like, who need to know you, like, they need to know you, like, at least on a first name basis, like, let's say if, uh, they're gonna be a classmate, or you know them through, like, business, like, you're gonna be working with them, or working for them, or something, um, or maybe, like, a friend, or something like that, just anyone that you're gonna have to actually know, 
and they're a Slovak, it's most likely that they're already gonna be able to speak English unless they're kind of from, you know, the uh, uh, older generation. Because um, I, I was kind of having this conversation with uh, a few people since I've been here, mentioning to them like, hey, like, you know, I um, have been trying to like kind of practice uh, and learn Slovak here and there, but it almost feels like I never get the opportunity to actually practice it because um, everyone who knows me on a first name basis that I uh, speak with, like they all speak English and they're like, oh no, it's fine. Like I'll just speak English, like that's okay. So the best people who you'll want to practice your basic Slovak skills with are gonna be people who work in stores. So just about any store, like a grocery store or like a print shop or like whatever it is, um, because you don't need to know them. They don't need to know you, but uh, you will, have the opportunity to practice basic Slovak with them because it basically like there there's like a split like people who are older like maybe like 35 40 plus um are much less likely to speak uh English I I, I would say uh and then basically any young person can speak English fine here so that's something that you don't have to worry about but like if you're trying to practice like me then you know you, you don't get so many opportunities uh, to practice. I think I'll just mention two other things that are on my mind um, to share with you because I don't want this video to end up being too, too long. Uh, but one of them was um, in the past weekend, um, I actually recorded another uh, city visit video. So um, Adska and I went uh, to Trenčín. So this is the uh, uh, first like city video where uh, Adska is also a guest star in it. So I, I hope that um, turned out well. I haven't posted it obviously, like you didn't see it, but um, I'm gonna be working on uh, editing it and putting it together today. Um, so I don't expect it to come out on the same day that uh, this video is posted, but um, maybe maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. I'm, I'm gonna kind of try to work on it uh, for pretty long, but. Um, uh, I thought Trenčín, uh, Trenčín was a very cool city. Um, I'll give more of my thoughts in like the actual uh, Trenčín video, but um, it is uh, kind of more of a city that's like, you know, there's a lot of like mountains around it. And um, if you look online, uh, look up the Trenčín castle. And I think so far it's uh, it's my favorite castle because of, well, it's it's kind of on the mountain or the hillside and uh, it overlooks the city and it's very beautiful. So the Trent, uh, Trenčín castle is very nice, very beautiful. And the last thing that I wanna say before I say sayonara to you is uh, expect uh, a bit of food related uh, videos or food related content uh, to come on the channel. There have been um, some video ideas that I've had and they all revolve around like, you know, Slovak food and cuisine. There are already a couple, like a couple of the videos that I am working on, um, they are food related. And I wanna do some actual like cooking, like, you know, cooking of uh, Slovak food. Cause there's um, a couple of good websites uh, that I will share with you. So that if you wanna make any of the dishes that I'll be showing on the channel, then you can follow the recipes and make them too. Uh, at home. So anyways, that's all I've got for today. Um, I hope everyone had a great uh, month of March and I hope everyone's gonna have a really good um, April too. And thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos of uh, me and my stay here in Slovakia. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.